Okay, this is ADP and the GL interface. So after you run payroll, the next step is to get your payroll after it's been approved out of the payroll system and into your accounting system. The first step in this process is to export your GL through the GL interface. That This file we're going to export is used for two things. One, to upload it into uh, your accounting system so you get all of the individual charges for each and every transaction for the employees that you paid as well as the state and the fed fringes that go to those places the withholding employer and employees suey fooey and social security medicare and so on the other piece is you use this file if you have union or guild sag wga dga those elements as well as teamsters nia it will pick up this report to Create your export for the fringes that are due so you can pay the, the fringes to the appropriate guild contributions as well as the journal entry that will get used to upload into your accounting system. So all of that ripples out from this GL export. So once you're logged in, go to reports, your dashboard, GL interface. Once you're in the GL interface, you want to go to processing your GL file. Now, this is a GL file that hasn't been run or created yet. And you have to fill in a few a couple of fields, like the GL name, select a map, and there's a few other things. There's another field that'll show up here in a second. But what I do, so I don't forget what I did last time, is I go in and I have a look at what the heck I did. What did I call it? I highlight it, I copy it, I take a look at it really quick. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I am going to select a map. In my case, it's going to be that map. The narration's here. This is what's going to show up inside the file. This is what's going to show up on the name of the file when it gets created. So I don't necessarily need the batch number because it's going to be inside the file, but I like to have it. I want to know what the period ending is. So then I tell it, what's the accounting period? This is for period ending 610, which is here. I give it that. I tell it what I want to include. I create the GL file. It's telling me that I have a GL file with the same name because I'm being stupid. Of course it has the same name because I already ran it. This is for June 24th. Let's go fix that. And that is not the batch number. The batch number is different. Weekend in the 24th. Batch number is 8701. And then I create the file and that's it. It's being created. Now it automatically took me to the processing, the file status page, and it's in the background. It's just chunking away. The servers are doing their thing. If the payroll is big, it could take five minutes. Doesn't usually, it happens pretty quickly. It also depends on how busy the servers are doing everybody else's payroll in the country. ADP is the biggest payroll processor in the country, or it was uh, recently when I last checked, but nonetheless, you can see in the time that I've been yammering on, it went from being worked on in process to being completed. So this is the file I'm looking at, 8701. I wanna go out here, I'm gonna go download it, initiates a process, I'm saving it in my documents, my batch, period ending 624, batch 8701, click save, I'm done. Now, what has happened is it has exported my file, puts my narration here, and then everything else from B all the way out is going to be all the data for the payroll that I just ran. And that's it. It's done. It's exported. 
I'm going to take this file and I'm going to use it as an upload for into my accounting system and for fringes.